Welcome to the very first episode of Rick's Horror Labs, The Science of Fear, where we use real science, real data, real instruments, and real people to try to answer one simple question. Are you in control of your fears? Okay, so on technical difficulties, of course. As I was explaining to you, there's a bunch of different... And by the way, welcome back to uh, another exciting episode of Rick's Horror Lives, where we will find out whether or not you find stuff to be scary. In this episode that we like to call The Science of Fear. Who are you? I am Gina. Gina. I am an experiment. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. And here's the experiment we're going to conduct. If you could raise your hand on your right hand. Don't break the sensors. <laughs> You're breaking my stuff. <laughs> Easy there. On your right hand, we have a heart rate monitor, which is currently not working because I think you might have pulled it off of your finger because I see 149 beats per minute right now. So you might want to resolve that. Okay, good. So on your right hand, we have a homemade heart rate monitor made by me. That's why it works so well. On your left hand, I confused them. <laughs> on your right hand is a skin conductivity sensor. We're going to call that a stress sensor. And let me show you what that looks like here. The, the white box here on the bottom is the stress sensor, as denoted by this beautiful box here. Rick's Horror Lab stress sensor. Wow, beautiful. And on the top one is a good old fashioned heart rate monitor. And I can see 62 beats per minute. That's your current uh, heart rate. Also, but it might be. The top, the, mo the, the top most window here is a thermal camera that is detecting your temperature currently 28.3 in non-American <laughs> units. What we're going to do is we're going to find out whether or not you have a detectable response I uh, like to your heart response. Look at your heart rate. Is, your heart rate is going up there a little bit. Anyway, the top ca the, the top window is a heat seeking camera that's telling us your temperature. The middle window is your heart rate in beats per minute. Looks good. And the bottom window is your stress level. Now, the bottom and the middle windows will change depending on whether or not you're stressed out. So, obviously, beats per minute the higher it goes, the you know, the more stress or activity you're experiencing. The other one, though, the lower it goes, the lower the value goes, the more stress you're experiencing. You can also see that it says no stress right now. Uh-oh, somebody's a little stressed. What's going on? <laughs> a little nervous there, huh? Okay, so that's reading really well. Okay, so as I was saying, what I'm going to do is we're going to test to see whether or not you have a fear response to some of the stuff that we're showing. Okay. This is going to be a 10-minute video. I will be leaving the lab and monitoring you from an external location unbeknownst to you to make things scare, I will also be turning on a camera. I'm sorry, I will also be turning on a light that I should have done before I sat down. <laughs> okay, so now that the lights are off, you are in almost total darkness, aside from the fact that you have a screen in front of you, which is obviously illuminating. I would love to leave you completely in the dark and maybe in a later episode, we'll put you inside a headset instead of this. Oh my God, that's a great idea. <laughs> I'm gonna just use my my 3D gaming headset. What's that thing called? HTC Vive. Anyway, this is a 10 minute video. I will start to play this and then I will mute my microphone and then I will leave the room. If at any point it gets too scary for you, too bad. <laughs> Sit there and watch the entire thing. No, if you get too scared, obviously just like wave your hands around. I'll come in. Okay. Otherwise, I won't come in until the experiment is over. Are you ready? Got it. And let me know if you hear the sound. The video will become much more scary. Can you hear that? Yes. Do you oh. think you can get to the last video without getting scared? We warn you that the last video was chosen for being so terrifying that 100% of the people who see it get scared. Who is the brave one who dares to start? Level one. Let's start with something soft. 
In this first video, something very strange and difficult to explain happens. Nobody has been able to explain it until now. It takes place in Brazil, under a controlled environment, with night vision cameras and bait. The objective of this video was to record the behavior of a fox in its natural habitat. What for many was simple animal research quickly became a supernatural ent. In the video, you see a fox that started to eat the food put out by this group of people. Its behavior was strange, as if it felt that something was wrong. Out of nowhere, an enormous black shadow appeared, tall and corpulent, moving at maximum speed and lunging at the fox. The latter appears without a trace. It seems that this gigantic figure has kidnapped the animal without emitting any sound. Level 2 Did you reach this level? We think level 1 didn't challenge you, did it? But we're going to increase the intensity. In this video, we see Lori Simmons, who was talking through a video call with her friend Shanna Thomas. Lori claimed to be completely alone at home, but as she moves through it, behind her, you can see a child playing, trying to get out on camera. Let's watch the video. Salvation Army first and see what I can find, you know. Um, but I, I definitely need a... Level 3. We're at level 3. Now, things will get a little uglier. The following video was taken in Japan where you see a group of young people in a kind of sleepover. Apparently, the girls were bored, so they decided to take a picture with a tablet. Here's the video. <laughs> One of them places the device in front of her partner, and when she focuses, she notices that behind, a spooky diabolic figure appears. She had long hair, very badly treated, a look of horror, and a white robe. The girl let go of the tablet in terror. Clearly, there was absolutely nothing behind it. Level 4 We're halfway there, and at this level, we'll see if you're able to keep moving forward. A man began to hear strange noises coming to his basement. He quickly took his camera and ventured to record what was happening. In the video, you hear a very loud sound, like someone going up and down the stairs. Although the man was not afraid, the atmosphere was very tense. Let's watch the video. All right, here we go. Hello. I know I hear you down here. I know I heard you. Holy fuck. Oh my dude. I just saw. Holy shit, man. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Dude, I <laughs> Level 5. Little by little, the videos begin to become more frightening. So the next one deserves more strength and courage. Everything happens in a transportation system in Mexico, where very strange noises were heard. Screams, cries, everything indicated that it was a trapped person. They quickly went down to see what was happening, with cameras, flashlights, and equipment to rescue the person. What they didn't know was that they were going to run into a strange paranormal phenomenon that would make anyone run. When they arrived at the site, it was a basement of this institution. They began very cautiously to ask if anyone was there. For a few minutes, nothing happened. There were no answers and no manifestation of human lives. However, the camera kept rolling, capturing a very shocking, ghostly event. Let's see, and tell me what you think. <sighs> Aquí abajo en el sótano escuchamos unos ruidos, probablemente de la persona que no ha podido deliberar, no ha podido salir. Entonces estamos averiguando en este momento todo el celular encima de la de una caneca. A ver qué es lo que acontece. Mi nombre es John Haider Sánchez, estoy con Orlando Figueroa. ¡Guayá! ¡Vení! Sanchez, venga. Uy, Dios mío bendito. Está eso, botón. No, güey. Mira, ve. 
Uy, madre. No, madre, que es que mira, ve. Eh. Uy, Dios mío, bendito. Yo en eso no creía. Uy, huevón. Level 6. If you got here and you are not scared yet, congratulations. We are in the third to last video. This was recorded in a morgue where some young people enter one of the most terrifying corridors of this site, a place where they take the corpses that are examined and prepared for their wake. The stage is dark, a light flashes making the environment hostile and frightening. Level 7 Nothing terrifies more than a video captured in real life. And in this Level 7, we will see the video in which an imaginary friend is shown. These characters are created by infants, most of whom feel alone. They seek the accompaniment of a creation of their mind, with which they play and create a special bond. The story is in Japan, where parents record their daughter eating food for the first time. In the process, they talk to the girl and ask her if she likes what she eats. She nods respectfully. Quickly, everything changes when the girl makes a long-distance greeting and points out to her parents that there is a gentleman behind them. When you focus with the camera, you don't notice anyone. However, the little girl informs that, yes, there is someone behind them. When they turn around, they can see a clear image of an older man who comes within a few centimeters of the mother. This surprises the mother who jumps chillingly from such direct contact with the spectrum. Last full. Get ready, because this last video is the strongest and most creepy of this compilation. And in this last level, if you're not scared, you're from another world and won the challenge of this video. Here we see a stage where the knight is the protagonist. You see a room door very serene, quiet, and calm until little by little, it becomes more disturbing. Better not continue. Here you have the video. A word of advice, be careful when watching it. Strange noises I can were heard, see your stress screams, reaction really cries, <laughs> everything <laughs> indicated that it was a trapped <laughs> person. I was like, no, they quickly why, went down to see what was happening, there? with <laughs> cameras, flashlights, and equipment like you to actually rescue dropped the person. A lot. What they didn't know was that they were... Stressfully decided to drop, like, like we can see it tracking down as you're watching and stuff, so you may not have felt... Oh, check this out. That's the moment it's I left the room. A little uglier. And then, the as you kept watching stuff... Especially that one there. You, you may not have felt it, but you are definitely... Look, you're definitely stressing. The heart rate monitor, I don't think, worked really well. Maybe because of your nails or something. But the stress reaction, you got to a point where you were just, you know, really, really lingering around uh, stress. Not like extremely stressed. Right here. Like, this, you started here. It just was going off. 
Yeah, that that is is you know what I also noticed? You start to laugh. <laughs> Like you start to smile, no, and, uh, like you start to feel stress reactions. Like you look like almost bored through everything, <laughs> except when you start to feel something scary. Like yeah, you can start to go back up. You're not like really, and then and again something's getting you here. And if you can look at the graph and look at the image, like it, it <laughs> explain what's happening here. Oh, that door was closing and like banging closing and banging i don't know he, they were speaking in spanish and for some reason like sotano just sounds scary period <laughs> like who would want to go in the sotano by themselves and then like, the, i saw the the the, the captions when i was looking at it yeah. in one of the videos said ayúdame dios or yeah something. so it's like the people it, it, was, it made it funny because the people the way nothing they were terrifies talking, more so, than a video captured in real life too, and, like, and in this mean, level setting like, you will see the video in which an imaginary Why? friend oh is shown. my goodness <laughs> Let's see, did you think the last it? video was scary? Not at all. Mm. I, I, I expected something to jump out. Okay, because it looked like this stuff is just calming you down a little bit. I don't think that even that guy didn't I, do yeah, much to no. you. And then I think that might have been it. Okay, so round two? Yes. You ready? <laughs> yes. Okay, so I, I obviously, you just <laughs> saw, I have not seen these videos, so I have no idea what you're going to watch. So. Okay. I'm sorry that the other one is more funny than scary, but I just think that's just the way you deal with with fear, which is hilarious because that's exactly how I deal with fear. I wonder if we're related. Um, okay, so I will start this. You get lights on. Scary pictures. Oh, ew. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> see me very well because the screen's on the other side of the camera but yeah um sorry that's in the background <laughs> It's already taking forever. Oh. <laughs> Do it. Right. Okay. That freaked the hell out of me. Um, so I'm gonna put the camera down here and just go out into the kitchen just to see where it went. So I'm gonna. Okay, there wasn't anything out there that I could see. It's like a really creepy long room. <laughs> anyway. What was that? Right. 
This should be okay. Oh, fuck! That one got me! <laughs> I finished the laundry I had to do while dreading the walk through the dark basement. I exit the laundry room, get halfway through the basement, and I hear a loud cackle. Imagine a sound people make when they imitate a witch. Take that and imagine the witch had been smoking for 50 years, making her voice. How is that? I reacted to. Like now, like again. <laughs> That one. Ew. Yeah, like, yeah. what is that? Uh, are you showing any reaction, though? Like, not much. I think some of these are made for kids. Like yeah, that's, Freddy I think that's a, yeah, man. that's from a movie. Yeah. That looks from, like, that one movie. Even the guy's like, first some scary pictures. Okay, now let's watch some scary videos. <laughs> so you said any of this stuff, and right now, at this point, your stress levels are not, uh... I mean, you're definitely still in green, you know, but you did if you get from the beginning of the video, if you can see. Yeah, because it just starts off creepy. Like, why do you go into an abandoned place? Let's see. Okay. This is where you start with nothing. Like you start the sense is starting up. Um, you start to read that and suddenly there's a drop. And that drop corresponds to that ugly picture there. <laughs> but you show almost no reaction like in your face like see this is what i was telling you you may not feel like you're scared but you're definitely showing a reaction and then yeah i mean did it come back up ever again did you find anything else scary in your opinion yeah the second clip not this one the one after the one after this did this scare yeah. you this green yes. room one no nothing i mean i felt a little like oh okay you did i'm like, waiting for, i'm did. waiting for it Look, look, he did drop again. Yeah, yeah I was waiting too. for it, but <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that graphic lady, that scary zombie lady that comes out. Oh, uh, you look kind of... Okay, one? like, that's ridiculous. It scared you? No! <laughs> what is that? It looks like Ghostbusters. See, that's why. Lovely, it looks it? like something from, like, the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, it does, actually. And they definitely <laughs> yeah. kind of but it got you a little bit because you did trend down after it. Look, just a tad bit. So you may not feel scared. I think it was the fact that it wasn't like an abandoned place. Ah, uh, and then these were made up. Like it wasn't. Yeah. I mean, everything is made up. <laughs> Let's see. This one? Did this get you? No. No? no. Let's see. Let's see the reaction. It that did. That one. This one. Yes. This got you. Tell me about this one. It was just the anticipation. I was just waiting for it. Like, come on. Like, what are you looking for? Like, stop. Yeah, that's me. Is this guy talking when he's recording? Yes. He's With like, oh, this is me the mirror <laughs> i'm gonna go check out the kitchen because i didn't <laughs> see it <laughs> why are you gonna do that that's funny i was watching it and i was expecting to see something but look look at your uh, trend line you're definitely still anticipating like you're, you're stressing you're stressing i am i was stressing <laughs> because i was waiting for it to get me and i and i was like this is taking forever it's uh, gonna come at me when i least expect it that is hilarious and the fact that he's so calm was just pissing me off. <laughs> and then I came in at some point and ruined this. No, that one was no, that one scared me. Well, you're definitely still feeling it Why? from uh, no, from your sensor here, from your sensor data. It was gonna. It takes a little while. Oh. That green screen. Were you doing that or was it no, just like a glitch? That's, that's I was like, glitch. what I is that. that? This one, was, that clip was long. And I think that's why I was stressing. Nah, he's faking that. Was there noise when this is happening? Or? Uh, no. Is this quiet? Well, he's talking. He's just giving oh, like a house tour. Oh, he's not adding like extra no, scary no, noise? No, no, no. Interesting. Like, very monotone. Wait. Gonna go. <laughs> like little girl scare you? No, that, not that. Stop like this now. is where he's going to go investigate where that little girl went. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotcha. Like, why? Well, who is this girl? Why do you have to put the camera down that has a light and go into the kitchen where it's dark? Oh, he put the camera yeah, down. Yeah, he put the camera down. Like, uh, why? And I was expecting something there. I was like, something's going to come get the camera. How stupid. Why would you put the camera down? And then nothing. And I was just like, damn it, it's going to get me. Right, okay, so I was started stressing that, even like, more see. because I couldn't see it. <laughs> it wasn't coming. And then... Really creepy. Look. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. You're still anticipating here. You yes. see. You're definitely still not like showing 
a downward trend here though so maybe you just got too bored of it it was, it was like you were climbing wait, wait you have to wait for it uh you did go back up but because yeah. i thought he was done at some point i thought that was it yeah that's why i was like but okay no no wait wait <laughs> oh, right there, that that stupid thing got me. <laughs> did, you, did you do a yeah. live view now of where you're at? Uh, so you can get a sense for you where you are now. Look at the way that it's trended up. Yeah. I see. You're now back up to the normal or the levels where you were when you came in. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Yeah. I'm surprised the sensor works so well. <laughs> <laughs> I tested it a lot, but like, <laughs> for example, the heart rate one is it's tough with your nails, but the stress sensor yeah. level really, really, really worked. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you very much. Any last words? No, thank you. Yeah. <laughs>